guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can see this is a different type of video i'm doing a declutter with me of my makeup collection right here and there's like a lot in the back it's just it's gonna be a crazy crazy series so i am making this into a series on my channel and today's episode is going to be all about me decluttering my foundations concealers powders and primers some more of like my base products for you know my face and yeah so i pretty much go through like all of my collection and i'm going to create a playlist for this uh, series so i will have that in the description box it's also going to be sort of like a organizing sort of video as well because i do you know organize my makeup and get rid of it at the same time a lot of this makeup i have had literally for like eight or nine years it's crazy a lot of it's probably expired by now and i just really need to go through it and declutter it so without further ado let's just jump straight into the video we're going to be starting off with foundations so before i go straight into the declutter i just want to mention really quickly that uh, most of these acrylic storage drawers have most of my makeup but i of course can't fit all of my foundations in these drawers so i do have another section of my room where i keep uh, more makeup let's just jump straight into it there is a lot to go through the first foundations I have here are the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundations. I actually have three right there. So this is my favourite drugstore foundation if you didn't know. I'll be keeping all of those because you can't get this in the UK. The next foundation I have in the drawer is the NYX Born to Glow. And I'm going to be keeping this one just because it is quite new to me and I want to play around with it a little bit more. Then we have the L'Oreal True Match foundations. Believe it or not, I actually have four of these. I have three shades in W2 and one in W1. The reason I'm keeping this is, again, um, it's one of my favourite drugstore foundations. And you also can't get this one in the UK. So next we have the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. And this one I haven't really played around with much, so I think I'm going to keep that because I do want to use it in more videos. And then I also have the Makeup Forever HD foundation, which is one of my favorite, or probably my favorite, so I'm gonna be keeping that, of course. I also have the Wet and Wild. I wanna play around with this more, and we can't get Wet and Wild in the UK. I have here two Bare Minerals uh, Complexion Rescue BB creams, and I have one in the shade Bamboo 5.5 and one in Buttercream number three. I'm gonna keep Buttercream because that is my shade and Bamboo is too dark for me, so I'm gonna give it to my mum. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Yay, our first declutter. So next um, I have the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. I'm gonna keep this because I've only used it twice and you guys have seen it in my drugstore haul. And then I also have the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So much products left and I do really love it and it's expensive. So I am going to keep it. Next, I have the Dream Setting Liquid by Maybelline. I don't even know where the lid is. feel like I'm going to play around with this a tiny bit more. It's almost coming towards the end. Um, this is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I feel like I still want to keep it because I do really love the Conceal and Hydrate line. So next, we have the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. And as you can see, it has the uh wrapper on it i literally just bought this so i can't get rid of it because i just bought it now we have some stick foundations i have the hourglass vanish seamless stick foundation and i've got so much product left of this and it's super expensive and then we have my two stick foundations here so we have the tom ford stick foundation the shade is a little too dark for me but i'm going to keep it because again expensive <laughs> And then we have the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation, which I recently purchased, and I'm going to be keeping that. Then we have the MAC Studio Tech Foundation. This is in NC20, and they've actually discontinued this. Yeah, let's get rid of it. And then right here, I have a few more foundations. I have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation, which I'm actually going to be keeping. Then we have the NARS Sheer Glow, one of my favourite NARS foundations also. We have the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation, and I'm keeping that one. We have the MAC Face and Body Foundation. It's what they use in Fashion Week and things like that, so this is a great one. Love Face and Body. And last but not least, these two foundations that I have. The Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, which is brand new. Uh, as you can see, I still have it in the box, so I'm going to be keeping that because I need to test it out. And then also brand new, because it's still in its wrapper, 
the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. So we're going into primers, which is all here. I don't really have many primers, um, so let's just quickly go through them. I have the e.l.f. Paulus Putty Face Primer, which I absolutely love. I actually have two of these, but I actually cannot find where the other one is. When I find the other one, uh, I'm still going to keep both anyway. I have the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. This is super old. I don't know if they even still do this primer. If they still do this primer, I will keep it. If they don't do it anymore, then I will throw it away because that means it's super old. We have the Cover FX Calming Primer. This one I absolutely love. I'm going to keep that one. And then I have the MAC Prep and Prime Pore Refiner Stick. I actually haven't had the chance to play around with this. I got it for free when I used to work at MAC. And yeah, I think I will keep that because I need to play around with it more. Next, we have the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Um, I'm going to keep this one because I don't have many drugstore primers and I love to show you guys um, alternatives. Then we have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This one is a mini size and I've tested it a few times and I really, really love it. Now we have the MAC Natural Radiance in Radiant Yellow. And it's one of the best selling primers at MAC. So I'm going to be keeping this one. Next we have the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. And my goodness, I think this is at least seven or eight years old. I have had this for literally more than six years so this needs to go in the bin because i don't even use it i don't even think they make it anymore next we have oh gosh it's like a mess but you know what this is the reality i have makeup all over it this is the makeup forever uh, nourishing primer and i know they still do this and i'm still going to keep this because i really do love this then we have the mini version of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Love this primer. I'm keeping this one also. And then we have a random Sephora cushion blusher in here. I don't know why I have this in here. I guess it just didn't fit anywhere else. This is, yeah, disgusting. It's going straight in the bin. This is the Fasali Rose Gold Elixir Oil. It's so jagged. It seems fine to me, so I think I'm going to be keeping that one. Next we have... Okay, this isn't a primer again. I don't know what it's doing in here. This is the Bali Body BB Cream, and I'm going to be keeping this. Then we have the MAC Strobe Cream. This is going in the bin. Then we, oh god, this is going in the bin as well. This is the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. Then we have, oof, my Bobbi Brown Skin Base. It smells good, still good to go, a lot of product left. I'm going to keep this. We have a few little primers. We have the MAC Prep and Prime Face Protect SPF 50 Lotion. I'm going to get rid of that. And then we have the Givenchy Mr. Matte. It's Givenchy. It's expensive. So I'm going to give it a try. Oh God, this is going straight in the bin because it looks expired. It is filthy. This is the Too Faced Lip Insurance, basically a lip primer by Too Faced. So nasty. That's going in the bin. And then last but not least, I have a MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer. So this is the same one as the full size. It's just in a sample size. And I'll probably give that to someone. I completely forgot I do have more primers and it is the Smashbox Primer Water, which I'll be keeping because I literally just tried this out and I freaking love it. But of course, these basically don't fit in here. So that's why I have them up here. I also have the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. This I also got when I was working at Tom Ford. Did I mention to you guys I worked at Tom Ford? Either way, I did. And yeah. I got this primer when I was working there, of course discounted, so I took advantage of that discount. So those two are going back up there because I couldn't fit it in here. I also do have the Fenty primer. This is the soft matte primer and I really, really, really love this Fenty primer. And then I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm keeping this one because I do love the glow it gives and it's of course full as well. I also have the YSL Blur Primer with the 24 karat gold flex in there. And I'm gonna be keeping this because I do really love it. 
And then last but not least, you guys have seen this all the time, the Nivea Express Primer and Moisturizer. And I have several, several tubs of these. I think I have four tubs of these now. Now onto my powders. I don't have very many, but I will still go into it just to show you guys. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm gonna keep this one because I really love this powder. I have two of the Rimmel Stay Matte Powders. These are both in transparent and I love these powders, so I'm keeping both. And then most of this is MAC powders. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. Not my shade, it's my mum's shade, so I'm gonna declutter this and give it to her. I also have the Water Weight Powder by MAC, and this, I don't even know if they do anymore, but I'm gonna keep it because I love the finish it gives. And then I have the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC20, which I've hit pan on. I actually have another one right here, so that one's full. I also have another MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. This is in Light Plus. This one is my shade. I also have the MAC Mineralized Foundation. So it's a foundation powder and it is in the shade Light. They don't do this anymore, but it's a really, really great loose foundation. So I'm going to be keeping this. Then back here we have, oh God, I know these are just super old. This is the Milani Foundation Powder in Golden Beige. No, throw it away because it's again like I don't know six seven years old this is the MAC Studio Tech foundation so it was that cream foundation I told you guys about oh my god look how disgusting that is that is going in the bin then we have the Makeup Obsession Game Set Matte Powder I just recently bought this so I still need to test it out I have the if I can get it out the Sephora what is this called micro smooth powder and this one I'm going to be keeping. This one is in the shade Light. And then same thing again, the Milani Cream to Powder in Buff. Oh god, I'm not even going to show you guys that. That's going in the bin. Oh my gosh, look how much I've decluttered. So that is done. Oh boy, it's concealer time. This is where it gets tricky. So, first one I'm picking up here at random is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. Uh, this is fairly new to me. I'm keeping this. I love it. Let me just get rid of these really quickly. And to make life easy, I'm keeping all of them because as you can see, they're all in boxes and they're all brand new to me. So next we're going to go into the Morphe Concealer. I think I will keep this mainly for like cut creases and for my eyeshadow. The MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer, one of my favorite concealers ever. I have to keep this. The NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla, keeping this. I'm going to go through this really quickly. Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Peeing this, I think. Urban um, Decay Stay Naked. This quickly became a favorite. I'm keeping that. Fenty Beauty Concealer. And then also the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer, which is again also becoming a favorite of mine. I'm keeping that. The Colourpop No Filter Concealer in Light 20, which is really dark for me. And I actually think I'm gonna declutter this so that one's going we have this is where it gets like hectic I have way too many look at this look at this I don't even realize it I have way too many LA girl pro concealers fairest which I'm keeping I have porcelain vanilla light ivory which I believe is too dark for me so I'm getting rid of light ivory so that one's going we have Beautiful Bronze, which I use as a cream contour. That one I'm going to keep. We have a Classic Ivory, which I'm getting rid of. And then we have two more porcelain, so I have three in total. I'm keeping that because that is my shade. We have the MAC Mineralize Concealer, which I'm keeping because it gives a really, really natural finish. The Jouer High Coverage Concealer. This one is a really, really great concealer. I just have to mention it's a great high-end concealer so I'm keeping that. We have two Tarte Shape Tapes I'm keeping both. We have the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. This is in porcelain. One I can use to like sculpt my brows, use it as a cut crease sort of base so I'm going to be keeping that. We have the, oh god these are old, so we have the Bare Minerals Concealer in Light 1 that is going to go in the bin or give to someone and then I also have it in Light 2 which again bin. We have the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. I'm going to be keeping this. We have the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. 
I'm sorry if it keeps getting out of focus. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of this because it's completely empty, so I don't know what it's doing in here. This is in light, and this is in neutralizer, so I'm keeping neutralizer. Then we have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealers. This is in fair and light, and I'm going to be keeping both. The MAC Select Cover Up Concealer, they don't do this anymore, and everyone still raves about this and like wants MAC to bring it back. So I'm going to keep it because, I don't know, I just... Sometimes I can't part ways with things. The MAC Studio Fix Concealer. This is a brand new concealer by MAC, actually. So I'm going to be keeping this one just because I feel like I need to use it a little bit more. And then we have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 10, which I'm going to be keeping. The Benefit. What is this? Fake Up Concealer. And this is in light, and I'm getting rid of this. My favourite Conceal and Hydrate by Makeup Revolution, I'm keeping this. This is the Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. I did a whole video on this. I'm going to give it another try because I've only tried it since that video. We have two of the MAC Studio Finish Concealers, both in NC20. I'm keeping both. We have the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer Duo. Look how crazy I am. The concealer is completely finished. I don't know why I'm still keeping this. This is going in the bin. Ben Nye Cream Highlight in Ultra Light. I feel like I still want to keep it though for like special effects, so I think I'll use it for that. Sephora Gel Serum Concealer in Parfait. I've never used this, so I'm going to give it a go. My e.l.f. 16 hour Camo Concealer, I'm keeping that. And then, oh, I have another Bare Skin Concealer by Mare Minerals. This is in light, so I'm getting rid of this. A few more products left. This is the Balm Time Balm Concealer. This is going in the bin. And then I have free MAC Prep and Prime Highlighting Pens. I'm keeping all of them. Heart Shape Tape, the new one, new shade, light sand, oh, fresh new concealer, I love that. That will go there. So these three I'm actually going to keep in the box because these, you know, I will try out. I've never tried them, so I would like to try them as a first impressions on camera. So I've pretty much decluttered a lot of concealer. I know maybe it might not look like it to you guys, but it's a lot to me. And um, yeah, I'm going to move this back up here. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of the declutter series. I have so much more that I'm going to be decluttering. That is it from me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, if you guys are going to do a declutter as well. I've had all this stuff for literally years and years and it is time to go through it. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in my next video.